Right, good morning, welcome back. Now today, I've acquired two pieces of bodywork to bolt onto the Dyna FXD. And I think together, a nose cone and a belly pan, they are collectively referred to as a bikini fairing for obvious reasons. Now, I got these from two separate suppliers and they come ready to screw straight onto the bike with a bracket each and a docking kit each. And literally, like I said, mechanically, you can just screw them all straight on but they're not ready to be screwed on yet in terms of the panels themselves. The belly pan, it's painted, but not very well. That could be done a lot better, but that's gonna be easy. That'll be just a quick scuff up and a quick coat of paint or two, and that's ready to bolt on. Unfortunately, the nose cone is a little bit more difficult. This comes in a naked, bare, unpainted plastic. It's black in molded black plastic, but that's all. There's no paint on it. So this is gonna present a lot more work to prepare it for paint. So let's put everything else to one side and focus on this first. Right, just to qualify this panel, if I can, it does come from China, but that's not to its detriment. It is a chunky item. I've fitted these to Harleys before. The actual thickness of the panel, if you put a caliper across it, it's four mil thick. That is as thick as any standard motorcycle bodywork, and it's quite chunky, it's quite weighty. If I put it on the scale and we give it a little measure, it weighs fraction over a pound in weight. So that tiny little nose gun, it's a pound in weight, four mil thick, sturdy as you like. Now, if that came with a bar and shield logo on the inside and a Harley part number, what do you reckon, 100 pounds? Painted in color, 150? Quite probably, but it was 12 pounds 99 from China. There you go, why not? Now, it just comes to you unfinished, like I said. And the first job is to get rid of all the casting flash that they've left on it. That's these little sharp edges all around it that they haven't bothered to clean off. So that's the first job, then we can start scuffing it up. Right, if you ever made Airfix models as a kid, then you know all about casting flash. It's just that little sharp edge left where the two molds meet each other. Take a blade, stroke it out the way for the most part until it's almost gone. Then take your 600 paper and just stroke away at it until that's a perfectly rounded edge all in one piece. It's just patience. Right, the next thing, now the lip is perfect, is to deal with these three little blemishes in the outside. These have come from the fact that on the inside there's three brass threads molded into the plastic. And where this plastic is extra thick to hold those threads, it's left these little dimples on the outside. They're virtually undetectable to the touch, but you can see them when you ripple it back and forth and I want them gone. So the easiest thing, rather than just jump straight in there and fill them up with filler and then try and sand that filler flat, you can't block sand filler on a soft plastic panel because as you're sanding the filler, the plastic's so soft, you'll be sanding that as well and you'll never truly get it flat. A far safer way to do it, as being as it's so thick as well, it's four mil thick, this plastic, remember? I'm just gonna take some 1200 paper and my block and I'm gonna very carefully just buff these out, just stroke sand them away until they're completely gone. I think that's a far safer way to do it.
Right, I'm gonna key it up ready for paint now. I'm gonna use a 600 grit and warm soapy water. The reason I wet sand it to key it up is because this has come out of a mold. There's always gonna be release chemicals and whatnot. So I think the warm soapy water, while you're keying it up, it's neutralizing any chemicals on the surface and that little bit extra belt and braces to prevent reactions when the paint goes on. So let's do that next. Right, there's what appears to be a little drain hole at the front of this chin spoiler, essential. And it doesn't appear to be actually a hole, it's just a dint. I think it's been blocked up either by plastic residue on the inside or paint or something. Either way, let's clear that first so it's actually a drain hole and then we can set it up for paint. Right, there's my two parts ready to paint. I'm gonna use the good old faithful gloss black tough paint. Yeah, I know everybody groans when I use this all the time, but I can't find anything else better for the job. The stone chips that you're gonna get on this little tin spoiler, that's the perfect paint for it. I'm not sponsored by these people. I pay about six pound a can for this and I just keep buying it because it just keeps working. Now I'm gonna turn off the air conditioner, turn on the extractors, cover up everything vulnerable, put three wet coats on here, switch off the lights, walk out the door and give this 48 hours to dry before I can mount it on the bike. So at this point, I'll thank you for watching, take it easy, ride safe, and I'll see you next time. Let's go.